Why do you call me emo? <laughs> So now that you're as deep in this as I am, why are TikTok live streams so weird? As I was browsing TikTok while working on my viral sound video, I started getting recommended TikTok lives on my For You page. TikTok live is like looking deep into the void and having it maniacally scream back at you. <laughs> it's like walking through Times Square in New York, but it's an alternate reality and everyone is suffering from acute psychosis, including yourself. And with TikTok making live streaming a money-making opportunity for pretty much anyone that owns a smartphone, it's become the perfect incubator to hatch some of the worst attempts at side hustling I have seen yet. The first discovery I made was a group of people that had figured out a way to commodify sleeping. You know, that weird thing that everyone does where we pass out for 50% of our lives. And this is perfect because that means that TikTok has managed to take control of their greatest rival, going to bed. Ironically, these sleeping streams are not about actually getting sleep, but rather keeping someone awake. Hello. They have an entire menu of donation options for viewers. Meme sound bites that will blast through speakers in their room. So obviously the viewer's job is to donate money to be annoying. But there's a level of performance that is required in order for this TikTok live strategy to work. They will pretend to get angry with people sending donations to them as if this entire scenario was not constructed of their own free will. What boxes would you have to check for this to be a real situation for someone? Is this even sustainable for someone? The more money you make, the worse it gets. I like to think that they do this every night. And if this is their day job, when they're done with work, do they go to bed? They're already there. You'd have to end your day by popping like seven Advil. One of my favorite things that I'll notice the chat do is they'll start beckoning people to stop donating and just let the guy sleep. Like they're the stereotypical thugs behind a bar beating the shit out of some innocent person. And one of the guys is like, all right, boys, he's had enough. Let's get out of here. And then it's just a live stream of the guy actually looking like he's sleeping. And it's not like he can do anything about it. He's supposed to be sleeping. You also might notice that the donation tiers seem less like a price menu and more like a hieroglyphic Rosetta Stone. And that's because of TikTok's really strange donation system. Which in their bits, get them out of here. YouTube just having it be cash? Fuck you. TikTok has decided to be that guy. The weirdo. The kid that brought in the tuna sandwich to elementary school lunch. Newsflash. You're stinking up the place, man. I didn't fully even understand what they were worth until I researched it. And it's important that you understand this too. Users can use money to purchase coins. And from there, they can purchase a variety of wonderful and wacky emojis that they call gifts. This system adds to the absolute insanity of watching a TikTok live stream because some of the gifts have animations that come with them, like a, a, a sailboat coming onto the screen or a giant corgi that shakes its ass. Why are you, what? It's like their live streaming department is run by Coco Melon. That's not a good thing. And the value of these gifts can range from very small, such as the rose or ice cream cone worth about a penny, to some extremely expensive ones, such as the TikTok universe gift, which is, $370. It reminds me of slot machines at casinos with their colorful, bright animation meant to make your brain forget that you just gambled away your child's entire college fund. Thank you, Playboy. Play kitten. <laughs> but surely that can't be intentional by design. Now these sleeping streams are the first of a category of TikTok lives that are weakly attempting to use reverse psychology on people. They're trying to make it as tempting as possible for the viewer to want the exact opposite of what the streamer supposedly is trying to do. And the only way to sabotage the streamer is by sending money to the streamer. Do you, uh, do you get where this is going? So in many ways, it is a net positive for the streamer because I don't think that they care about counting to one quintillion? Oh my God. I feel like you would have to be older than the universe itself to be able to be counting to that number. When you enter the stream though, he just so happens to be on that last couple hundred digits. He's almost there. But if you send a corgi, you can entirely reset his clicks, which doesn't seem worth it if you've been counting for that long. But other viewers who want him to complete his task, well, they could just send a like an heart thing. And then he's just back at the number he was at. I really love the commentary that comes from these streamers because you can tell that they're constantly goading the viewers into being against each other. Oh my God, Kikalio. Oh, oh. Anime King. Yeah, boy. And when he manages to get to that final number and you think he's about to complete his task, he starts counting down. 10, nine. What are you doing? You're so close. You're almost seven, there. Six, five. Oh my no. goodness. Now he's got to start from one. But of all of these donation baiting streams, my favorite has to be 
Galaxy Kid. Don't say this in the galaxy is the hub. We are not getting a galaxy. No one is gonna... There's a lot to unpack here. Let's do so it. So he's building a house of cards, and the entire time he's, like, goading the viewers into sending a galaxy gift, which is worth about $10. Stop it! We are not getting a galaxy... This is a lot of energy to be expending over 10 bucks. But this live stream does really well. The first time I found him, there was almost 6,000 people watching him do this shit. He's doing everything in his power to make sure that any person that stumbles upon this live stream will hate him in the deepest parts of their soul. He's perfected his tone of voice, so it vibrates at a frequency that activates the rage part of our brain. He is a scientist. The chat is constantly saying, send a galaxy, as he's acting as if he's going to be publicly executed if he doesn't finish this card tower. He's even got a face filter on that makes it appear as if he was like wearing mascara and he's crying it all off. However, I made a shocking discovery. I recorded this TikTok live in September, but then he was recommended to me in October doing the same thing. And what I noticed is that it's not actually a live stream, it's a fucking video. Here is both of the screen recordings played next to each other. Nice try, Galaxy Kid. Galaxy Kid has been playing 4D chess this entire time. Galaxy Kid. Whenever this dude is looking for some extra cash, he'll just boot up his pre-recorded stream of him losing his mind over a house of cards and then probably just go play Call of Duty or something as the galaxies roll into his bank account. The side hustle of side hustle. There's also a large amount of what I would call donate to play streams. One of these is like Street Fighter, where you've got Donald Trump fighting Barack Obama, with their punching being controlled by how much you donate. Or what appears to be a race between Trump, Biden, Vladimir Putin, and Vladimir Zelensky. There's even a TikTok live that tries to answer the age-old question from elementary school. Who's better, boys or girls? And let's not forget, boys are blue and girls are pink, the way it's always been. And if you disagree, time to, uh, let's get a mop on aisle three for these liberal tears. These all operate as kind of like a money generator that preys upon the divisive nature of politics on the internet or just anyone arguing on the internet. As if someone watching is like, holy crap, if I can make Trump punch the shit out of Biden, then they'll, they'll make him president. Now, before we keep looking at these terrible TikTok lives, I actually have some breaking news today. This video is sponsored by our friends at Rhino Shield. Hi, I'm Doug Pistol with Ted News. Bill? Thanks, Doug. The rumors are true and everybody's been talking about it. Rhino Shield cannot stop making these incredibly protective and customizable phone cases and accessories. They're so obsessed with doing this, it's getting kind of creepy. People are saying that Rhino Shield has an endless amount of customization options with different case styles, colors, and thousands of print designs. It's honestly making me sick to my stomach thinking about this level of customization. Greg? Thanks, Bill. Now, I'm getting word that Rhino Shield has managed to create an incredible level of protection with their phone cases, especially when paired with with their screen protector. And with their new phone grip, the number of people dropping phones on their faces has begun to plummet. Doug? Thanks, Greg. Now, I'm being told by our producers that Rhino Shield has a lifetime warranty with free replacements, and Rhino Shield currently, right now, is having a biggest sale of the year Black Friday sale with up to 60% off. What's that? I'm also being told that if you use code TED, you can get an extra 10% off in addition to those Black Friday sales. What are you saying? The link is in the description. Now, let's get back to our scheduled broadcast. TikTok also has their fair share of prophets and psychics. Clairvoyance. Prognosis. Prognosticators. Sounds like something you'd stick up your ass. The first psychic I ran into was this woman who's using two metal rods to answer questions from the people in her chat. I don't know if she's supposed to be speaking to ghosts or something. All someone has to do is send their name and their question and she will have an answer for you immediately. Will Tamaya ever be successful? Let her know. You have to put some time and effort into it, but it is a yes for that, my love. Nothing is impossible. What? She is slamming through predictions. She's got the ghosts in some sort of extortion situation because they are working hard for this TikTok live stream. People are also asking some crazy questions too. Will Tracy get the pardon? Will my son's father come back home today? Will my tax return be here this month? Is Emmanuel cheating on me? You're gonna go to a psychic on TikTok to ask that? Please leave that relationship. You've got these psychics that don't even show up on camera. She's got like a glorified magic eight ball in order to answer the questions. And this is how that device works. 
It's a no for you, my darling. I don't know if the people viewing this stream have heard of magnets, but when they do, they're gonna lose their mind. They don't take the magnet's word for it entirely, though. They add a little bit of pizzazz into the mix. Soft yes, soft yes. A soft yes? Where are we getting that from? That is yes in caps. Seems pretty cut and dry to me. Another stream seems like they're trying not to get sued by clarifying no pregnancy or health questions. That's a good move. Because if I was pregnant and I asked if the baby was gonna be born with health problems or not, and I got the answer, you decide, I would be a bit confused. But you know someone is probably gonna ask a question like, is it my fault that dad left? And it's gonna land on probably, and it's gonna fuck them up for the rest of their lives. The best TikTok live psychic though is this woman claiming that she will bring her viewers messages from heaven god that's beautiful that's a really it's really good sentiment i'm really happy that she's doing that she got 30 percent of the text on there wrong unlike the other tiktok psychics who are just slamming through predictions this woman is only willing to do readings for people that are her top gifter and she makes that incredibly clear i can't have all spirits coming through so you need to show respect by getting up on my gifter list a thousand coins please show love thank you for the flower once you're at a thousand coins you get on my list I will communicate with you. Please become a top gifter to win a two hour mediumship in private with me, which is $250. So try to win it. She's all business. So I sat in for one of these readings. It was pretty much exactly what I expected. Okay communication i'm seeing a man this is your grandfather coming through your grandfather is showing me he's there watching you he wants you to take better care of yourself okay you're going through a lot of turmoil in a relationship right now or a relationship you're in right now is a very toxic you're in a toxic relationship this is something that grandpa is saying someone's grandpa does not care about a toxic relationship they don't they probably don't even know what it is those fuckers were getting married at 18 and staying married for 62 years until they die but all of a sudden this grandfather's talking like a BuzzFeed article written by a millennial in Brooklyn? Yep, I fought in the war. I was at Iwo Jima. Split a guy's stomach open with a bayonet. America had such a toxic relationship with the Japanese empire back then. Now, when I feel about how your grandfather passed away, I am feeling something in the throat down to the chest. The chest? I feel that this passing was probably from the heart. Oh, you mean like heart disease, the leading cause of death in America. If you're a non-believer, please leave. Thank you for all the gifts, guys. I appreciate it. Ignore the haters please it's just jealousy of what that people's family members are dead or that you're making money off of their grief there's a strange level of dystopia from someone saying that they can speak to their dead relatives on the internet while simultaneously thanking the viewers for putting a baseball cap on their head thank you for the baseball hats thank you so much okay so we are doing your cousin i think of all of these tiktok live categories though my favorite has to be what i can only describe as the big phone genre. Thank you, my lovelies. Have a wonderful day, my anime editor. Because that's exactly what it is. There's a woman with a massive Android phone and she's got a pointer and this is all she does. My top one, let me see you now. Who is going to be the next one, guys? Always remember. They're speaking as if they're running an auction. What are they selling? And she's asking the chat if they want to be a star, like she's going to make them famous. If you want to be famous, are you ready to be a star? How does she make people stars? Well, she'll visit your profile and just like a bunch of your TikTok talks initially i thought this woman was the only person doing this and that she was unique in this type of live stream until i kept running into more and more tiktok lives of women in office cubicles with giant android phones what is going on in these tiktok lives with the microphone and the fucking pointer stick who's going to these live streams on a regular basis is anyone doing that oh i gotta catch up and see what they're doing on the big phone where are they even getting these giant android phones from i want one. I'm not even the one operating the giant phone and watching this. I'm stressed out for that. Is there something going on here? Do you have a surgically implanted bomb in your neck? Why are you doing this? We know that TikTok itself has an algorithm that's designed to keep users in its app for as long as humanly possible. But it seems that users have discovered that within their live streams, they too can create a system in which they can rope users into watching the most bottom of the barrel content. Whether that's taking advantage of their anxiety and questions about life, handling handling their grief or figuring out once and for all that boys are better than girls because girls pee blood and boys <laughs> Well, they pee garlic aioli. And if you like this video, Galaxy Guys, please send me a Galaxy. My rent is due tomorrow and my landlord owns a gun. 